Okay, anxiety attack. Check, check, check. <laughs> anxiety attack. Ito ang breathing pattern ko. Anxiety attack. Ito ang loop YouTube playlist ko for self-care. <laughs> Wednesday once again. Back at it again uh-huh. with another episode. <laughs> <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> oh my gosh. Me. This week was crazy. Tough. It was tough for both of us. <laughs> what happened to your week? Uh, my week, ang daming ganap, ang daming nangyari sa office, ang daming mga kailangan ayusin, ang daming mga personal matters na, alam mo yung tiniest details na nasa to-do list mo, pero you keep on pushing it tomorrow. Ay, sa weekend na lang. Ay, next week na lang to. And then it piles up, tapos parang, oh my gosh, why can't I keep up with my life? Uh, ginusto ko naman to pero I can't keep up <laughs> diba uh, negosyo negosyo ka pa dyan. social media social media ka pa dyan. so ginusto natin to so kailangan natin panindigan <laughs> pero my gosh yun talaga yung stress ko rin this week honestly like I was looking at my to-doist app tapos mm. I kept Alam mo yun, like, diba if you swipe, you can reschedule. I kept right. rescheduling my tasks. Tas, hindi na ako natutuwa sa sarili ko. And it was, it, it got worse and worse and worse. And mm-hmm. yun nga, yesterday was not a good day for me. And I'm gonna make kwento why later. Mm-hmm. Pero I think it's just super apt for our episode for this week. Kasi I Sobra. think, especially after doing so many episodes about setting up system, setting up mm-hmm. everything so everything will go right. But what happens when when things go wrong, which they yeah. inevitably will. Chaka, surprise, surprise. Even if you think na productive people kami, na we have our mm, together, no. <laughs> Most of the time, hindi rin. So today, we will be discussing yung paano ba, nat, paano ba tayo nag-cope sa habits? Eh, paano ba tayo nag-cope kapag things doesn't go our way? When things go bad? Parang, ano ba, do we still stick to our habits? Pero... Anong mangyayari kung hindi? Ganun. So, today is Habits Day. One but. of our favorites as well. <laughs> but with a dash of reality and authenticity and vulnerability and what really happens behind closed doors. <sighs> Can I just say, okay, one of the things that people think kasi or tell me whenever I talk about productivity and systems and tools they usually would say na, oh, my anxiety says no. Oh, I can't do this because of my anxiety or mm-hmm. my whatever is going on in their lives. But I think I need to put it out there that the reason why I do any of this, like I do all of this work, is because that's how I cope. And to be honest, like I don't think I'm natural. I was thinking about this this morning on my drive to work. Tapos naisip ko talaga na, I'm not naturally strong. I'm not naturally strong. I have a lot of things that I deal with. And there are so many things that affect me on a deep level. Na I don't think I can ano yun, like power through kung hindi ko ginagawa all of this work. So the reason why I do all of this work is so I can be resilient and not really strong. Because I feel like strong is... Sometimes when I think about strength, it's something that's innate in us, something that we just are. Pero hindi eh. To me, it's really resilience and being able to see realistically kung ano man yung being thrown at us and still choosing to uh, to power through anyway. And that's really it. Kasi, yan, okay. So yung question number one natin is how to make our habits stick. And do you skip on them sometimes? And to me, the simple answer is yes. Oh my gosh. Like, mm-hmm. uh, uh, like consistency is a struggle. And also, showing up is a struggle a lot of the time. But mm-hmm. again, it's a matter of being able to show up for ourselves, especially during the worst days. Because, remember, this is easy. Kapag ka, ano, diba? Like habits are easy to do when it's frictionless. But what happens kapag ka, <laughs> literally life is, ano, Uh-oh. throwing you all the friction you can have. Kinakrush ka talaga as in dik dik na dik dik ka. Ako naman, yes. Ako din, sobrang nagsiskip din ako ng habits. Kasi, yun nga, life gets in our way. 
sometimes even physically and mentally hindi natin kayang ano mo yun, kahit nga bumangon ng kama, hindi mo kakayanin. Pero, yun nga, again, I go back to, I try to go back to the feeling afterwards. After I create my routine, after I still do my 10-minute workout, ano yung mafe-feel ko? I guess yun yung isa sa mga motivations ko, kung paano ko talaga din na-drag yung sarili ko out of my bed. Mm-hmm. Tsaka, yun nga, again, it's all about self-awareness eh kailangan mong malaman kung ano ba yung mga triggers para hindi ako makabangon ng maaga. Or ano ba yung mga triggers kung um, bakit hindi ako makakapag 10-minute workout. And I try my best to prevent it. Like for example, if, um, yun nga, nagpa-pile up na yung to-do list ko, mm-hmm. na parang, alam mo yung mga minute tasks na nakakatamad na for example, um, clear your dining table. Yun lang, yung simple yung ganun, na parang ang, ang hirap gawin minsan, pero kailangan mong gawin. Kasi ako, I believe na yun nga, a clear space is a clear mind. So, kapag kunwari, ganun na yung mga nafe-feel ko, parang uh, ayoko nang bumangon sa umaga, tinatamad ako mag-work, parang yun na yung mga triggers, eh, mga signs na siya for me, na, ah, okay, check ayaw ko bumangon, check, um, natitrigger ako, nag- nag- with the slightest detail, check, ang sungit ko na kay Josh. So, ano na yung mga kailangan kong gawin to prevent this? So, kailangan ko maglinis ng aking kapaligiran, environment, and I, kayong mga minute to-do lists, kailangan ko siyang ma-check para lang makalma ako. Mm. Ganun. So, yun. Uh, tsaka, I also read it somewhere na, ano din, you yung sarili daw natin, yung self-love and self-care is also about pro- being professional with ourselves. Kasi like in work, kunwari, um, you show up to work eh, kasi bayad ka. Kumbaga, you show up kahit nakakatamad, you show up to meetings kahit nakakatamad, kasi work mo yun. So why not do it for yourself as well? Parang treat yourself as a boss na yung habits mo you should you should still show up with your habits and be professional towards self care be professional towards self love kasi yung mga habits na to yung mga routines na to will pile up and give you more self confidence and when you have more self confidence mas, mas mararamdaman mong inaalagaan mo yung sarili mo so ang pinaka point ng quote na yun is yun nga be professional so show up for yourself even if mm-hmm. nakakatamad show up to fitness kahit nakakatamad. So, yun. Yun, parang, isa, isa din sa parang, oh, it, hmm. it's a great idea for me na, oo nga, no, why not, if I am professional with work, why can't I be professional for myself? I definitely agree. And di ba yung itong ginagawa natin na getting back up from our, you know, down days, this is something that gets easier over time. Or maybe not mm-hmm. easier, but we get used to it. We get used mm-hmm. to the patterns. We recognize the patterns a little better. I remember when I was a lot younger, I had this frustration with myself na, why is it na meron akong days or maybe weeks na I'm super motivated and then after that, I'll have a week, two weeks of just nothing. As in super burnt out and then it's gonna go all over again as in two weeks na naman of just work 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 and then two weeks of nothing or two weeks of demotivation tapos iniisip ko like what's wrong with me what's wrong with me na I can't just be consistent like how I see other people and what I realized is the more that it happens and the more that I address these issues every single time it gets better I mean I get better at dealing with it so for example yung Yesterday, I had a really, oh my god, I had an awful experience on TikTok. Once again, what's new with the internet? Sikat na si sis. <laughs> I got comments kasi like telling me, parang, parang poking at my insecurities. Kasi duh, like I still have insecurities, I'm human. Pero mm-hmm. at the same time, I just deal with them better now. Pero kung nangyari yung kahapon, let's say three years ago, Three years ago, if somebody told me I had a round face, as if that's a bad thing, like, hello, look, ganda ganda ko kaya. <laughs> Super <laughs> round face. Di ba Ako. same? Parehas tayo. What the heck? Anong, anong problem Kahit niya Kahit anong pagpapapayat face? ko sa baba, hindi talaga, 
Mm. Ganun lang talaga yung mukha. Ganun talaga eh. Bilog talaga eh. <laughs> Oo. Oh, oh. So yun, parang if, if three years ago, somebody told me I had a round face, mukha akong di naligo kasi maitim ako, or like, you know, like these comments, if I got them three years ago, it would, as in like, I would probably not post for a month. I would probably mm. hide from the world for a month or even longer. I probably would give up on content Im- immediately. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. But because every single time it happened, I made sure na hindi ako papatalo dun. Over time, yeah. it got, I got better. Not, not stronger, maybe more resilient. More and more resilient to the point na alam ko na yung sasabihin ko sa sarili ko. Alam ko na yung activities na kailangan ko gawin to pull yeah. myself back up. So like, for example, yesterday, I was like, I was having this really bad anxiety attack and I was like, okay, I need to arm myself with knowledge. I need to <laughs> breathe. I need to, it, it was very like checklisty, pero kasi the checklist helped me. And mm-hmm. again, see, I'm, you know, I was able to sleep. Nagising ako ulit. And then I showed up to to this and I'm okay again. Not completely fine, but at least hindi masyado nahaharangan yung buhay ko the way it used to. Kasi before talaga maapektuhan work ko, maapektuhan lahat. But because I keep showing up every time this happens, following my habits and sticking to what I know is good for me has become much more doable. And at the end of the day, you know, Yun lang talaga, you can never avoid these problems. We can never avoid these triggers. They're always gonna happen. They're always gonna show up. Pero what we can do is to build an arsenal for ourselves so that every time we see it coming, we're like, oh my gosh, I'm prepared for you. I'm so ready <laughs> for na, you. my checklist na ako for this. Okay, anxiety attack. Check, check, check. <laughs> anxiety attack, ito ang breathing pattern ko. Anxiety attack, ito ang loop YouTube playlist ko for self-care. <laughs> so like, it sounds so Virgo. <laughs> Pero, <laughs> kailangan ko kasi yun. And again, mm-hmm. this is all about figuring out what works for you. And for me... What has really worked was figuring out all the activities, the actions that pull me out of that space, of that negative space. And ayun, it makes me a better, happier, more functional version of myself. And ayun talaga, it, it helps us cope. At the end of the day, it helps us cope. And uh, if it works, it works. Totoo, totoo yan. Um, can, and uh, can I also just commend how you always try to um, turn things around? Na parang yung mga, okay, babatuhin nyo ako ng comment. Oh, ma- gagawa ako ng shirt. Ah, babatuhin nyo ako ng comment. Ah, mga feature ako sa mga prestigious, alam mo yun, websites. So, well, uh, I also saw this, I also read this, I recently read this book about Edge. Um, it's from Laura Wong. Mm-hmm. Ano daw yun eh, parang it's always about embracing yung uniqueness mo and embracing all of the adversities na thrown at you. Like for example, um, ako, nung nag-try ako mag-quit sa corporate, sinasabi sa akin na, oh, online, online lang yan. Oh, will you be successful? Oh, babae ka, I, do, I don't think you can be a CEO. Or, oh, magbe-business ka, sure ka ba, kaya mo yan. Parang yung mga ganong adversities will, you will really make you stronger. Na parang instead of you cooping up in your blanket and in your bed na parang, ah, okay, babae kasi ako, I can't be a CEO or, or online, online lang to, hindi ako magiging successful. Na, whereas kapag in-embrace mo yun, yung mga sinasabi tungkol sa'yo, and you arm yourself with that, na parang, ano ngayon kung babae ako, or o ano ngayon kung round face ako. I inspire people anyway on TikTok. Ano ngayon kung round face ako? I am 1.8 million on TikTok anyway. Alam mo yun? Parang saka, yun nga eh, yung mga tao, parang they just type. Lalo sa, ad, lalo sa advent of social media ngayon. Parang, hindi na, hindi na nila iniisip kung ano yung sasabihin nila. Hindi na nila iniisip kung ano yung magiging effect non on the other end of the screen. Mm-hmm. So, parang ako din, I'm trying to arm myself with those na parang what if ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Uh, ini, sinasabi ko na lang na hindi. In the future, if this happens to me, I will try to embrace my adversity. I will own all of these, alam mo yun, mga quirks na weird mm-hmm. para sa ibang tao. 
to make me different. Yeah. Alam mo yun? Parang we shine, diamonds shine in different ways. So, yun. I see myself as a diamond. Iba-iba yung tingin ng iba-ibang tao sa akin. But, I mean, I just let myself shine. Ganun. Oh Ang my cheesy, gosh. pero. Yun nga. It's a great book as well. I just recently, ano, finished it. Edge, Laura Wong. Totoo naman eh. Na, you know, like, we, we shine in different ways. And just because another person sees it differently does not take away what we are within ourselves mm. and like what you said kanina yung, like parang turning everything negative around and being able to create something out of it inisip ko yun before na parang do i do i take these to heart too much but the thing is i can't change that about myself i am a person yeah. who feels things like i really feel yep. things i'm not a kebs person na parang i'm like mm-hmm. You know, I, I just let things go like that. I need to process my emotions. And knowing that that's the kind of person that I am, I shouldn't be avoiding that or suppressing that part of me. Now, if I really need to process, if I really need to feel my feels, then I need to do it. Because there are people na who can just shove things away na hindi sila maapektohan, na talagang like they're just genuinely wapakels. But that's mm-hmm. not me. I, you know, I am a, <laughs> I am an overthinker. I'm an anxious person. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing. That doesn't yeah. have to be something that brings me down. In fact, I can use that, those traits to my advantage. Um, there was, I, where was I? May napanood ako. Was it napanood or napakinggan? But something about being an anxious person does not have to always be a bad thing. Na sometimes people who are anxious are more prepared because they know the things, uh, like all the different ways some things can turn out to be. So they prepare for the worst, they, pl- they plan ahead. And that is a strength in itself too. So, ayun, like parang figure out who you really are, how you react to certain situations, and accept na ganun ka. Now, mm-hmm. once you've accepted na ganun ka, how can you use that to your advantage? So to me, it's all about storytelling, you know? It's all about storytelling. It's all about sharing, my, being open about my experiences. And I really value that I get to connect with my community even more because I'm vulnerable, mm. because I'm open about Tato. those. And... It actually helps me. <laughs> like the moment I I finished talking about it, like maybe sa Instagram post, I've written about it. Because writer naman talaga ako. Yun naman talaga yung number one ko before I was a content creator, before I was a TikToker. I really was a writer. So once mm-hmm. I've written it down and I've really explained to myself and processed my feelings through writing, that's when I feel better. Na parang. I, I was able to snap out of it and zoom out and talagang see things for what they are. Kaya ayun. Oh my gosh. Ayun. Pero more yeah. than that, um, maybe like physical symptoms. Do you feel anything like when you go through bad days? What what tells oh, you oh. na ito na yun? Na you're having a breakdown? <laughs> Ako, ano ba? Usually sobrang tensed na ng, ano bang tawag dito? Shoulders ko. As in, sobrang tigas na niya na feeling ko. Dati nga nagpapa-therapy ako sa dito, sa shoulders. Kasi it used to be so tight. Tipong sumasakit, parang nagko-crawl na siya sa ulo ko. Mm-hmm. Dahil yung muscles ko dito sobrang tensed sa, sa neck ko. So that's one. Number two is, ang sungit ko na. Number th- Pero madalas kay Josh. Kawawa nga to eh. Um, sa, kanya, sa kanya ko lang kayang magsungit. Parang I always get comments na, oh, ang sweet naman ng voice ni Miss Riza. Or, <laughs> Miss Riza, nagagalit ka ba? Parang, oh, kung alam nyo lang, I try to suppress everything. Tapos sa kanya ko nalalash out. Ang, I, I should be a better wife. But, yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> so that's one. So, ang sungit ko na. Number three is, ano, I, I eat. I eat junk food uh, which is so bad i need to go back to having a healthy relationship with food pero mm. ayun uh, isa yun tas parang ang short na ng breaths ko yes yan isa isa yun sa mga yun siguro yung four signs na 
Sis, kailangan mo na magpahinga. Ganon. Or kailangan mo na umiyak. Pag nakikita mo na siya sa sarili mo. Oo, oo, oo. How about you? For, for me, minsan nakakalimutan ko kasi when I have really good days, I'm like, what, do, what does it feel like to be, to have a bad day again? Like, I forget. Mm-hmm. But then, yun nga, since this is so fresh, as in, to me, it, it's like hyperventilate. <laughs> Kasi talaga, mm-hmm. literally anxiety attack talaga mm-hmm, na. Mm-hmm. You know, like hyperventilating, shaking. As in, alam mo yung magta-type na lang ako, I can't even type things down. Na? Kasi uh-oh, like, uh-oh. I really need to <sighs> breathe. That's some breath work talaga. That's um, <sighs> another thing that I noticed. I was stuttering a lot dun sa, di ko nga napansin until somebody commented it on my TikTok video na, Mm-hmm. Na parang, oh my gosh, Miss I- is my- is Miss Ayin okay? She was stuttering. Uh-huh. Parang ko, huh? Oh nga no? Like, I didn't realize that. Pero, uh-huh, uh-huh. somehow, it manifested in that way. It's mm-hmm. another thing for me is insomnia. That's, I, mm-hmm. I have, like like I said before, hindi ako tinatamaan ng antok basta. So, uh-huh, uh-huh. as in like, for a long time, antok was a, such a foreign concept to me. Kasi hindi ko na-realize na people just actually fall asleep. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yes, and sobrang hirap na hirap talaga akong matulog na um, yun yung one of the other physical symptoms. So, if hindi, yun nga, ito the past week, hirap na hirap ako to stick to my routine. Kasi di ba, ang ganda-ganda pa naman ang routine ko na, yeah. na matutulog ako na maaga, tapos first thing in the morning, I work out, and then oh I'm God. at the office immediately, I get to journal, I get to do this, naka-Google calendar lahat. But mm. then the last week was just so difficult na na-realize ko Ayun nga, I was like, <laughs> breaking point once again, I need to remedy this kasi I can't let it go on. Because I need to care for mm-hmm. myself. Like, how do I care for anything else if I don't take care of myself, diba? Totoo, so, totoo. Ayun, yun pa, like, I can't get anything for work done. Tapos bigla na lang ako maiiyak for no reason. Same, same. <laughs> same. As in, kahit, oo, oh, kahit parang lalambingin lang ako ni Bagnet, minsan iiyak na ako. Ganun, na parang, wait lang, bakit, bakit ko to iniiyakan? O kaya parang TikTok video or touching <laughs> Facebook video. Parang, why? As why am I like this? Ganun. Sobrang so, emotional na parang sobra. anything remotely good or bad. As in, like, <laughs> ang bilis talaga tugging on your heartstrings. Pero, mm-hmm. at, pero at the same time, ano eh, the thing is, when we know these signs, then we can do something about it. So, ako talaga, hindi ko iniiwasan yung ano. Pagka nagpapakita na siya sa akin, I'm like, okay. Acknowledge that they're happening Uh-oh. and see how you can pause and recover. Kasi, ignoring them won't do us any good. I used to ignore all exactly. of these things. I just like, power through. I am strong. I can do this. Uh-oh. I can. Pero. That doesn't do anything. So don't ignore right. what your body is telling you, what your mind is telling you. Totoo. Tsaka I actually learned that our emotions is like a river. So we need to treat our emotions as a river. Na parang, um, we just let it pass. We don't try to stop a river from flowing, but we have to let it pass. So whether it's good, whether it's bad, just try to let it pass and gawin mong parang ikaw yung parang bird na tinitingnan yung river sa baba. Parang the bird doesn't try to stop a river. The bird doesn't try to stop the water flowing from the river. So, ganun daw dapat tayo. Let's be the bird na, alam mo yan, let's try to let things pass, let things be. And yun nga, whether it's a good or a bad emotion, uh, try lang nating ipa-flow siya. And hindi naman natin responsibility na, wait, after two minutes, after two minutes, naka timer ako, kailangan ko lang maging masaya. Ganon. Kasi it, it stresses us out more. Na parang, lalo ka pag kunwari may mga taong hindi makakaintindi na parang, okay lang yan, liit na bagay. Kayo, I hate that. Na parang, sinishare ko na nga sa'yo, tapos magko-comment ka pa ng ganyan. So, yun nga, it also, it's also a good thing to be around um, supportive people that would understand your situation. Um, one of the good things that you can tell other people na parang uh, na, na feel yung ganito, na mm. lethargic, etc. Na parang just be with them. Just listen to them and don't try to lecture them if unsolicited naman. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 
parang nawala ako sa point ko. Nandun ako sa river eh. Pero, Tama na. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love the river Gulo. point, honestly. Like, so, nakakalimutan yeah. ko rin yun. Na parang, mm. oh nga lang, just let your feelings pass. Because if mm. you fight it, anong gagawin mo? Like, that's not gonna help. Tsaka have more self-compassion na you are not a, a bad person because you feel sad or you feel anxious or you feel this way na parang lethargic. Parang, yun nga, again, self-awareness is key. What can you do to prevent this from happening in the future? And if you can't even prevent it, how can you um, self-love after? <laughs> how can you self-care after? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grabe talaga. Kasi, you know, you, we, can't, we can't fight these feelings from ever no. happening. And the best way we can do is to arm ourselves with things that we can do to help us recover, help us cope, and help us not completely avoid, but like be prepared Mm-mm. for it. Um, so some of the things that we do, like <laughs> yesterday, yun sinabi ko nga, I love watching TED talks, <laughs> especially for um, for the top for the topic for like the current issue that I'm facing. So kahapon, I nakakatawa ano yung sinurch ko? As in, sobrang specific ng sinurch ko, eh, like, parang, how to not take things personally. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Cause I'm like I just wanna know, like somebody tell me, cause like I was really mm-hmm. taking it personally, even though I I knew that it had nothing to do about me. It wasn't mm-hmm. it wasn't about me. Like people just comment because they're bored. People just comment because they yeah. they see you and then they they think, oh, there's something about you that I don't like. Pero yeah. it's it's I shouldn't have taken that personally, but I did, and so I needed to. To snap out of it. So, ako, mm-hmm. I really need to arm myself with knowledge. Na parang, okay, what do the professionals say about this? So, what is psychology <laughs> saying about this? Because it's really helping for me. Because I, on my own, if I just digest things, hindi ko, like, I will just wallow in my misery. And I don't want to mm-hmm. do that. So, I go to professionals for help. Thankfully, YouTube is free. <laughs> yes. YouTube University. Totoo. YouTube Therapy. <laughs> you lahat. Googleable, YouTube, YouTubeable. <laughs> so yeah, oo nga. Ako din, I clearly remember nung ano, na-hack yung Instagram ng Lana. That was crazy. Grabe talaga yun. As in, so, so, for all of the listeners who doesn't know this yet, so na, na-hack yung Instagram ng Lana one morning. As in, gumising ako sa mga messages ng mga clients, ng mga staff ko na parang, Riz, ano, iba na yung profile photo ng Lana, tapos ganyan to, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos parang, oh my gosh, alam mo, kung siguro nangyari yun uh, five years ago, nung hindi pa ako, alam mo yun, parang in business na, eto talaga, I have my, I have these experiences. Mm-mm. Siguro sobrang umiyak na ako, alam mo yun. Um, Nag, nag-hysterical na ako. Pero you know what? Surprisingly, what I did that morning was, pumikit lang ako. I was trying to be still. Kasi naisip ko na shocks. Kapag nag-panic ako, kapag umiyak ako, kapag kung ano-anong isipin ko, makakloud na yung, makakloud na yung utak ko with my emotions eh. So, sabi ko, as, as the CEO of the company, I can't, just break down. I mean, this is not the time to break down. Pwedeng mga five minutes after, alam mo yun. Pero, surprisingly, that day, oh my gosh, sobrang proud ko sa sarili ko. Nasa ano ko yun, nasa proud of myself for list ko siya that day. Na parang sabi ko na, I'm proud of myself for not breaking down dun sa uh, Instagram hacking. So, nung yun nga, natry kong nap- mapigilan yung sarili ko. Although, sabi ko kanina, um, with your emotions, wag pigilan. Pero ngayon kasi, it, I have to be strategic eh. Kasi kapag hinayaan kong mag-flow yung emotions ko, hindi na logical dahil wala akong magagawang paraan. Mm-hmm. Parang, it, these are time, mga oras to na nawe-waste ko in business-wise ha. So, kailangan kong mag-isip. Sino bang kailangan kong kontakin? Sino bang kailangan? Ano bang sunod kong gagawin? Ganon. So, um, I think, hindi ko yun magagawa. I mm. can't compartmentalize my emotions kung hindi ko na-experience to before. Yung mga, parang it, culmination na siya ng lahat ng mga hassle na naganap sa buhay ko. Kaya, kaya kong maging stillness is the key eh. 
kaya kong maging still sa <laughs> sa oras na yun. So, hala lang, sobrang proud ko lang sa sarili ko na, oh my gosh, he, she did it without, you know, crying, blah, blah, blah. Tapos parang nung natapos na, okay na, finally, nabalik na yung Instagram, umiyak na ako. <laughs> Doon ko na siya napaflow. Doon ko na nahayaan yung sarili ko. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ganyan. So, parang dandan na lahat na. Yung mga stress ko nung umaga, dun ko na napaflow nung hapon na, nung bumalik na yung Instagram ng Lana. So, my case in point is, um, this journey is never, never happens in a snap. Na parang kapag sinabi natin na, oh, we have, we have, our life together, ano na yun, parang in 30 minutes lang magagawa mo na siya, or even a day, or even a month. This is a culmination of all the experiences you had way, way back. Kasi, like for Ayin, um, she's been, yung sa colorism, um, years, it was a culmination years, years back. Ako, mm-hmm. with business, it was an experience way, way, way back. Ang dami ng mga adversities, ang dami ng mga kumutsa, ang dami ng mga hindi naniwala. And sa, kumbaga, na, nagkakakalyo. <laughs> nagkakakalyo na tayo mm-hmm. sa buhay minsan na alam na natin kung ito na yung okay, magtitik na yung emotion na to. So, paano ba natin siya ipeprevent? So, yun. <sighs> Grabe talaga. It's a journey. Like, it is a journey. And it's compounding. Yan, di ba sa mm-hmm. Atomic Habits? Back at it yeah. again sa Atomic Habits. Favorite yep. book. <laughs> parang, di ba like, sinasabi nga na parang over time, nagko-compound lahat ng little habits, little improvements. And it's the same mm-hmm. with how we deal with the negative emotions and negative experiences. Every time you successfully walk out of that na, you know, with a lesson, with a really good lesson, ganyan, those tiny lessons over time really compound. And more and more, you become prepared for what's to come. Like, it could be worse, Ito. it could be not that bad, but at the end of the day, you have so many other lessons that you can arm yourself with. Na, to me, has been so important. Kasi naalala ko before, na offend ako when somebody would call me names ganyan sa YouTube and nasanay na ako over time because every time it happened I decided to stand up for myself or I decided mm-hmm. to like have peace of mind and just delete the comment block the user yung mga ganong bagay so like Uh-oh. now it still stinks but I recover so much quicker and I can really power through and continue what I was there to do anyway like I can continue my job even if I experience these and that's because every time it had happened in the past, I kept showing up and I kept telling myself na, I can't let this overpower me. I need to be resilient. And sometimes that's really all it takes. And just trust the process na, it will get easier or you will get stronger. Toto. <sighs> It's the so muscle hoping, of life. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the muscle of life, indeed. Yeah. But like, okay, let's talk about coping strategies. Because, syempre, mm. we can't just, you know, accept things as they are and, you know, let it be. Syempre, we need actionable right. steps to to make sure that we are still in control of our lives. So, madam, what do you do to cope with these situations, Um, to, to power through, like, Days when you think your habits are just not working for you. Okay, for days na sobrang nakakatamad talaga. Um, yun nga, I keep on asking myself of my why. Clarity is very, very important as to why you are doing these habits. Like for example, again, we go back to my 10-minute movement. Kapag sobrang hindi ko talaga gustong bumangon, for some reason, uh, I ask myself, is this what a healthy and inspiring leader would do? You know what? It's I keep on I keep on saying this in all of the and in, in most of our episodes. Kasi gumagana talaga siya sa akin. Na parang kung nare meron kang isang habit na gustong i-build, kabitan mo yun ng why. Kabitan mo yun ng clarity on your why. Kasi bakit? Bakit mo ba talaga ito ginagawa in the first place? Ako, gusto kong i-build yung 10-minute move kasi I am an inspiring and healthy leader. Bakit ko gustong mag, uh, bumalik sa great relationship with healthy food? 
it's because I am a healthy and inspiring leader. I think that's also, that's one of the coping strategies I do kapag tinatamad talaga ako. And kapag hindi talaga, ayaw talaga uh, ng 10-minute move, sabi ko, sige na, kahit 50 squats lang a day, masaya na ako. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kasi meron talagang mga days na hindi talaga eh, na hindi mo talaga kaya. Pero, nagko-compromise na lang ako minsan sa sarili ko. Kasi if I keep on pushing myself to do things I don't want to do, ma- maiirita lang ako, mafufrustrate lang ako. So, mm-hmm. I just let myself be. Na parang, sige na nga, okay, tawad, 50 squats na lang a day. Ganyan. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, I also bank on my feelings. Ano ba yung gusto kong maramdaman after that habit? Like, for example, ang habit is skincare. So, if I wanna um, skin... So, syempre, skincare is habit. Ano yung mararamdaman ko after nyan? Mm-hmm. So, I feel fresh, I feel pretty, I feel loved, alam mo yun. So, um, yung pagkabit ng habit sa feeling mo afterwards is also a very good actionable point. Mm-hmm. How about you? Before, ako, before, I, before I move on to my list... Sige, we have so much on our <laughs> list. Kailangan talaga. Like you need to have that list. Otherwise, if one thing fails, uh, the rest of your no, no, attempt no. is gonna fail, rin, diba? True. So to me, okay. So one of the things that I do is continuously learning about self development, and Mm-mm. you know, I'm not a psychology major or anything like that, but I am an avid consumer of psychology, like study psychology, Mm-mm. like articles, because I just want to know, like, tell me, tell me how I Uh-oh. can understand myself better, tell me how I can process my feelings better, because like even though this is not like a professional thing, just knowing na. Knowing what's normal, what isn't normal, what is healthy, what isn't healthy. Yun, just having that knowledge really allows me to make better decisions and to see things more objectively. Because when I hear you know, about a professional telling me na, oh, ayan, like feeling anxious is normal, I'm like, Whew, I'm no longer anxious about my anxiety. And that's like one, one less thing to worry about. So ayun, to me, um, I actively and not, not during the bad days lang ah. um also before in between and after bad days i still learn about self improvement cuz and say this is something that helps us maintain a really good relationship with ourselves and yun nga we cannot be just reactive ni tayo pwedeng every time may masamang mangyayari dun lang tayo magre-react dun lang tayo may gagawin so it's a lifelong commitment to learning to improvement na talagang if you want things to become easier for you in the future or you want to be stronger with how you deal with these things in the future then continue learning then continue figuring out what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So, ako, like, I really consume a lot of books, a lot of books, podcasts, um, TV shows. Pag meron akong, pag may times na free talaga yung oras ko, tas I don't know what to do. Like, even Netflix, I'll, I'll find, like, type, just type, documentaries. And you see so many things na will give you insight. And to me, taking notes, grabe talaga. Ako, ang gustong gusto ko binabalikan yung mga learnings ko from the past. Because, really, they help me sa future problems. And at the end of the day, you know, the more I know, the more we know, the more chances we have at succeeding. True. Um, ako naman, aside from yun nga, sobrang hilig ko din talaga sa self-help books. I am such a self-help book nerd <laughs> na it, it really, lalo... Ako kasi, I read books na applicable to what I'm currently experiencing. Like, for example, yep. um, right now, I am overwhelmed with all of the things that I need to do in my life, honestly. So, I'm trying to... I started this book called Getting Things Done by David Allen. Ganda niya. Excited ako kasi parang meron daw mga tips and tricks uh, with productivity and how to actually get things done. So, uh, yun nga, aside from educating myself 
with with yun nga, articles, books, ganyan. I make sure na it's also easily doable after. I can implement it after. Kasi walang kwenta kung magkoconsume lang tayo ng magkoconsume on social media, on YouTube, we read books, etc. Kung hindi natin siya i-implement. So what I do is, um, whenever I have a bad day, I go back to this list kung ano ba yung mga self-care checklist. I have a self-care checklist, madam. Alam mo ba yun? I have a bad day checklist. So, dun sa checklist na yun. Ang ganda naman na. nun. Um, so, meron dun skin care. Ay, syempre, 10-minute move. Kung, kung hindi pa rin guman, hindi pa rin okay yung pakiramdam ko sa 10-minute move, I will eat healthy. If hindi pa rin gumana, I will take a bath and fix myself. If hindi pa rin gumana, make up. Hindi pa rin gumana, skin care. If hindi pa rin gumana, play with bagnet. Alam mo yun, parang ay, alam ko na, na preempt ko na, na magkakaroon ako ng bad day. So, I created this checklist, which I can, I think, share with you guys. Um, para din, baka gumana sa inyo. <laughs> yeah, kasi diba parang you need to have something that you can fall back on. Kasi you're having mm-hmm. a bad day na nga. So, if you have to think about what you need to do in order to combat this. It's it's more decision fatigue, it's more extra work for you. Pero kung, like, on a good day, you do this list, you have, you figured out what you need to do to prevent bad days or, like, to at least help you cope with bad days, then when it does come, then you just open that up and see, okay, what can I do today that will possibly alleviate the emotional distress that I'm experiencing? And, you know, more often than not, it works. Honestly, like, it works talaga. Unless there's something so special about this bad day na hindi siya ma-address no mga previously learned for you na, you know, na proven and tested na nag work so, yun, at least nababawasan. Nababawasan na nababawasan oh, yung oh. probability na you're gonna have like mm-hmm. a, a debilitating bad day. Totoo. Tsaka, kunwari, just in case everything else fails dun sa list ko, I'll just sleep. <laughs> I just let myself have a bad day. Pero, yeah. I, I always think na this is a bad day and not a bad life. And there's, may, may bukas pa. Um... Hopefully it'll get better. Yeah. Again. So I I just let the I just let the bad day be. Minsan, minsan. Yeah. Because kapag yung mga checklist mo hindi na talaga gumana or wala ka talagang magagawa, it's uh, especially if it's out of your control. Especially yep. if it's out of your control. <sighs> minsan talaga. Hala, inahayaan ko lang. Itulog mo na lang. Itulog mo <laughs> na lang. Itulog mo na lang yan. <laughs> oh, true. Ay, nako. Okay, another thing that I do is neuro-linguistic programming. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> NLP. Yeah, NLP. Okay, so let me give you guys a brief description of it from goodtherapy.com. So, neuro-linguistic programming is a psychological approach that involves analyzing strategies used by successful individuals and applying it applying them to reach a personal goal. It relates thoughts, language, and patterns of behavior learned through experience to specific outcomes. Now, proponents of NLP assume all human action is positive. Therefore, if a plan fails or the unexpected happens, the experience is neither good nor bad. It simply presents more useful information. And the reason why I love this so much is, parang I am not really in control but i am not helpless because oftentimes you know the reason why i get frustrated with the things going on in my life is i feel helpless feeling ko wala akong magawa about this pero with neurolinguistic programming with being more mindful about how we talk how we narrate what's going on and looking at experiences and actions as not necessarily positive or negative, but just more information that will help us learn about ourselves, about how we deal with things. Hindi siya as parang mabigat as it normally would be. For example, siguro um, my issue with notifications. <laughs> like frustration ko talaga yan kasi I really struggle with keeping up with my emails and my notifications and naging source talaga siya ng anxiety for me because I know that it 
affects my relationships, not only personally, but like professionally. And I don't want that to happen. But now with, okay, let's say NLP. What is this telling me? How can I go about this? And how how can I rewire? Parang ganun, it's like rewiring your old habits and your tendencies in order to um, make this make this a better experience for you. That was ayon. So because of that, I was able to set up new milestones, mini milestones for myself. Na, you know, inbox zero. So bago pa siya lumala sa 300 unread emails, then I gotta do this. And then I also, you know, working delegating. I learned to delegate. So a lot of the ideology work stuff is my my na so my is our account manager. So si my na yung naga ano no, nag deal with it. And then I also have my manager now, Gish, who is such a godsend. As in, sobrang napadali yung buhay ko. So now, brand deals are much easier to negotiate and deal with. Kasi ang kausap ko na lang si Gish na lang. So it's just one person that I talk to. And ayun, so more than just having useful information to make better decisions. To me, I am able to rewire my brain na rin, na instead of blaming myself, in, instead of placing blame na ikaw kasi ganyan, kulang ka sa ganyan ito, kulang ka sa ganyan, then I can zoom out, look at it objectively, and see na, okay, like, this is the reality. This is what's going on. And I can improve this by, as in very streamlined, very simple, and very progress oriented as opposed to beating myself up over something that I will probably struggle with kung continue to struggle with kung hindi ko siya i-accept. Mm. Tsaka yung creating systems around it for you to para hindi ka ma-overwhelm with life is also really important. So ako ako noon nga I clearly remember before nung 2020, 'di ba? I was mm-hmm. trying to launch four brands. Grabe so yun. for approvals 'yan. Grabe, sobrang nabaliw talaga ako nung 2020 na parang yung dilemma ko is I can't stop kasi paano yung livelihood ng mga empleyado ko versus oh my gosh, wasak na wasak na yung utak ko. Kasi that time Siyempre, four brands, pare sabay-sabay yung ano eh, sabay-sabay yung development, sabay-sabay yung research, na parang I needed to be there for every single brand. Tapos lahat ng approvals, parang alam mo yung tipong ang daming tao who wants to have your approval, na parang who wants to have a minute of your time, na parang even if I genuinely love to give them time, parang hindi, hindi, sapat yung 24 hours ko. Tao ka lang. Na, oh nga. Alam mo yun, na parang, feeling ko kasi dati, oh, I'm a superwoman, I can do things, I can create four brands ng sabay-sabay. Pero, yun nga, I, sabi ko, hindi na talaga to healthy. Umiiyak ako kay Josh, kasi pagod na pagod ako. Alam mo yung parang, gusto ko namang kausapin every single one of my employee in terms of meetings, creative meetings, creative juices, na parang approvals for um, research, approvals for mga suppliers. Alam mo yun, lahat importante, pero hindi ko maorasan. Yun yung pinaka-frustrating sa akin ng 2020. Pero sabi ni Josh, mm-hmm. wait lang, gawa natin ang paraan to, paano ba natin ma-free up yung sarili mo? So, what we did was we delegated brand managers for every brand. Mm-hmm. So, meron ng, meron ng taga-decision, meron ng Riza na um, magde-decision on my behalf for every single brand. So, yung mga brand managers na yun, yun na lang yung kamiting ko. Na parang, or Riz, um, yung meeting for, for example, Talaala, eto yung, eto yung status, eto na yung napili kong suppliers, eto yung, kumbaga parang sobrang in-empower ko sila um, na, okay, be the Riza. Ganon. So, I think that's also one of the reasons why it it came to a point that we were able to launch four brands noong 2020. Hindi, hindi talaga yeah. ako lang yun. It takes an entire village to create these brands. Tsaka, yun nga, creating systems around it talaga and delegating. Kasi the usual me, the if it's five years back, sobrang perfectionist ko kasi na mm-hmm. dapat yeah. I'm a micromanager ano bang ginagawa mo blah 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 na when I tried when I learned to let go of 
the slightest details na parang, hoy, pagkatiwalaan mo naman yung mga staff mo. Mm-mm. When I learned that, parang sobrang na-free up talaga ako. Na parang, I don't think I can do this podcast mm-hmm. if hindi ako nakapag-delegate. I don't think I can start my TikTok kung hindi ako nagde-delegate. Alam mo yun, parang create a system where it works for you. Yun. Sabi nga, naalala ko, um, I was watching Nina of Colorette's um, TikToks. Mm-hmm. So sabi niya, one of the things that she did in order to, you know, scale the business is to multiply herself. Na you need people to make decisions as if you mm-hmm. were making the decisions. Because if you're overseeing absolutely everything, right. how do you get anything done? Especially mm-hmm. at that scale. Na, diba, you, you went from how many? Like 15 employees to 70 mm-hmm. plus? Like, you yeah. can't do that. You can't possibly do that on your own. So, trusting Ito. creating a system creating a system and then trusting that system is yeah. essential super true oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> another thing na ano um i guess helped me cope with and helps me continues to help me cope with you know days like this is storytelling so i don't know if you know this but literally anytime something happens i write about it i share about it and Mostly, I do it for myself because I need that outlet. But more than mm-hmm. that, I also want people to know that if they're ever you know, experiencing the same thing, then it's normal and that someone, you know, that me, <laughs> ako rin naman na experience ko yun. So, because mm-hmm. I think there's just, um, there's so much power in community and having a community and understanding that hindi ka nag Because oftentimes it feels that way, you know, if you're experiencing something very personal, if you're experiencing something really difficult and feeling mo mag ka, it's hard. But if you know Totoo. that other people go through this as well, it's it doesn't really change the problem, but it makes the experience less lonely. And sometimes that makes all of the difference. Tsaka, I love that you humanize. Alam mo yun, parang, kasi, Ayin Bernos, TikTok star. <laughs> Pero alam mo yun, parang it also helps, honestly, it really helps a lot of people as well. Kasi I remember my sister, na parang, she's not having a good day. Tapos, parang, sabi niya na, ate, ang sama, hindi, hindi talaga okay yung araw ko. Pero, if, if an Ayin Bernos is allowed to break down, I can break down too. <laughs> ganun, ganun yung pagkasabi niya. <laughs> Sabi niya na parang normal na tao rin pala siya, no? <laughs> Diyos ko, may, ano ba? Pero yeah, it happens to the best of us. I, I vividly remember Sofia Amoruso, my ultimate business idol, na parang she was sharing stories na parang nagaka imposter syndrome siya na she feels awful selling things to people na parang feeling niya sinascam niya yung mga tao pero hindi niya alam na sobrang galing niya alam mo yun minsan mm-hmm. yun nga madalas very self critical tayo na we think it's it's good that we think highly of ourselves pero minsan nagiging over critical na tayo sa sarili natin na wait lang diba strong ako hindi ako allowed mag breakdown minsan sinasabi natin yun sa sarili natin na it's it's not fair yeah. na we are not allowing to we are not allowing ourselves to feel things and be human kasi ang tingin natin sa sarili natin oh strong ka eh yeah. alam mo yun it's it's all about accepting na Knives, even knives, need sharpening. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's so, so good. So, kailangan, kailangan din nating, alam mo yun, hasain. Hasain. You know, I really hasain love that you, itong mga emosyon ano, natin. You brought that up. Kasi, you know, when you were talking about how, um, you know, strong ka, so you can't be weak. I I really mm-hmm. felt that with confidence because you know how confidence is my branding. First of all, right. like this ca- this mm-hmm. podcast is called Camp Confidence, and yes. everything I say <laughs> online it's it's all about confidence, cultivating confidence. Mm-hmm. So to me, whenever I feel like my insecurities are getting the best of me, I I would tell myself, how can you I, how can you still have these insecurities? Aren't you the confident girl? But I realized that part of my confidence, part of my confidence is accepting that I do have insecurities. The same way Ta-da. that being strong means accepting that you have weaknesses. 
na to me, you know, I am not afraid to have insecurities because I'm confident that my insecurities are not who I am. Like, yes, they True. exist. Yes, they feel bad sometimes. But does that make me any less ayin? Absolutely not. Like, hello, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, Ta-ta. I go to sleep knowing that this is who I am and I like who I am. And even though, yes, syempre may flaws, syempre imperfect. Pero, what are we gonna do about that? Do we, do we just shrink? Do we mm-hmm. just um, remove the fact that we're confident because sometimes we feel not super confident? I don't think yeah. so. I feel like confidence mm-hmm. is just having that stead- steadfast belief na you can power through these things or at least figure out a way to. Um, I still get affected, but at the end of the day, my value does not lie on how round my face is or, or how dark I get, how tan I get. Or yes. how, you know, what my weight is. My value does not revolve around that. Yes, I'll feel mm-hmm. bad about them sometimes. But I am more than all of those things combined. Like, my, yes. my entire human experience is mm-hmm. so, so colorful. And dami kong relationships na I really care about. I, and dami kong experiences na never ko babaguhin, na I will never regret. And dami kong lessons na kahit nasaktan ako in the process of learning them, hindi ko talaga pagpapalit. So, while yes, these things hurt in the moment, they are not who I am. They don't define me. And I am still the confident girl that I know myself to be. Thank you very much. Confidence. Confidence. I thank you. <laughs> Not thank you. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ay, nako. Sobrang totoo. Ay. Sarap. Ang sarap. It's so empowering. It's so empowering to know na kahit na feel natin mahina tayo minsan, we have the choice. We always have the choice to rise above the situation. Mm-hmm. It's We have a choice to let go of things that don't serve us and let go of things and people that do not deserve us. So, Ooh, what is that? Eh, <laughs> eh. <laughs> totoo, 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 totoo. Oh my gosh. Um, isa yun talaga sa mga things na I always tell myself na I am not helpless. As in, yun yung ayoko talaga mm-hmm. ma-feel. Kasi, yes, I can have bad days, insecurities, weaknesses, but I am not helpless. I will figure out a way to go around this. I will figure out a way to work on what I can control. And even if maraming out of my control, I am still not helpless. I will still have a choice somewhere, somehow. Hahanapin ko yun. Kung hindi ko alam, I will find it. I will figure it out. Meron akong ano, nakakatawa. I, I wrote this a post-it ko and it's still on my desk. Tapos naalala ko lang as I said that. Sabi ko, ano, there must be a better way and it's my job to find it. Na parang, there must be. There must be a solution out there. As in, meron talaga yan. Hindi True. ko pa siya nakikita ngayon, pero trabaho kong mahanap siya. And, Owning that, owning that is to me very empowering because I am not helpless. I can do something about this. This really feels good to be very vulnerable and alam mo yun, mm-hmm. medyo soft boys and girls tayo today. Na it, yun nga, it's also empowering to share this to the community. Thank you so much for all of you who's listening and watching right now. Because <sighs> I don't you. know, this felt like Camp Confidence is a safe space for all of us alam mo yun, to share all these things and wala lang ang, ang saya na we share the same values with our listeners and wala lang we so, appreciate you guys so totoo, much totoo sobra all of these tags all of these mentions nakikita namin siya isa isa and it really warms our hearts and ayun nga uh, anyway that being said, as a way to give back. Yeah. As a way to give back, because we love you guys so much. Our very generous friends over at Studio is doing having, another giveaway. Giving us a gift. Oh my gosh. Ayan. So get take it away, Madam Ayin. Yes. So just like the last couple of weeks, we've been giving away pairs of studios. And this week, it's going to be an Ed giveaway. So the mechanics for this is just like last week and the weeks before that. So 
First is we follow at Studio, at Camp Confidence Radio, at Ayin Bernos, and at Rizalana on Instagram. And then comment the studio at color you'd like to win and your takeaway for episode 9. So this, for this episode, what did you learn? Comment that on our post on Instagram. And then share this post on your IG stories. Tag us so we can see it. And of course, lastly... Uh, the winner will be announced on our next episode. So make sure that as soon as you, as soon as you hear this episode, as soon as this drops, comment na kasi we record on Wednesdays. So that means that we mm-hmm. select our our winners by Wednesday. So if yep. you want to get in, um, go do that comment before Wednesday. Another news from Studio. Studio at is going to have a price change from its original price, which is eight thousand two hundred pesos. Baba basha, ang new price starting April nineteen is six thousand two hundred pesos na lang, which you can save two thousand pesos. And more good news if you use our code Camp fifteen upon checkout, you get fifteen percent off applicable on top of the decreased price so that's 5270 more savings more fun (laughs) and you also get a free wireless charger which is called lad plus worth 2400 if you purchase from april 19 to may 9 yeah go na so camp 15 that's c-a-m-p 15 upon checkout you also get free shipping worldwide Thanks again, Studio. We love you. Thank you so much, Studio. And thank you so much, everyone, for listening to our episode today. We hope to catch you guys soon. Our worksheets will be up on Instagram as well. We didn't mention it here because um, it's going to be a bingo. So super fun. Yes. Uh, we'd love to see your answers. And we'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Have a great week ahead. Have a great week. <laughs> <laughs>